What's up guys, Sid here. i uh, got a bunch of nice stuff to show you today. Uh, only one piece of mail, but uh, I did an in-person signing a couple days ago. Today is the 1st of May. Um, I also got some thrift store stuff, uh, some various other pickups from local trades and a local box break stuff. So some interesting things uh, to show you, mostly sports related. Uh, there's a couple of things that are not, but it's a mostly sports video. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get right into it. Um, we'll start off with a bang. I got this card uh, as part of a uh, local trade. Well, it was a local part cash, part trade deal, and this is the part trade. Uh, this is a Isaiah Crowell. Uh, I believe it's called a Bowman Chrome X-Fractor autograph. And if my camera will focus, probably not. That's about the best I'm going to get it right there. It's a 1 of 10. So there's only 10 of these made, and this is number 1. The camera wants to be a jerk, not focus. But uh, for the Cleveland Browns, really nice card. Uh, researching this guy, uh, he's actually pretty good. Uh, he went undrafted, but he ended up uh, in in 2014. He went undrafted, but since then, um, let me see the numbering a little better, kind of focused. But since then, he's scored 13 touchdowns. Uh, he scored eight in his rookie year, so pretty good for an undrafted guy. So there's that. Uh, that is for sale or trade, uh, if anybody is interested. Uh, I do have it up in some various card groups right now, so it may or may not be sold or traded by the time I upload this video. But if you're interested, uh, shoot me a PM. Uh, this is the box break stuff here. Uh, I was only able to get one spot due to financial constraints. Uh, so I didn't do very well. Uh, they randomized the teams, and I ended up getting the Jets. So here's what I got. Jalen Saunders, rookie. Uh, Jay Samaro, rookie. And I've decided to make the best of getting these Jets. Uh, I recently won a Jay Samaro autograph on Listia. So that'll be coming. Uh, we got Devin Smith, rookie. Bryce Petty, rookie, Chris Ivory, Eric Decker, Darrell Rivas, Devin Smith, rookie, Michael Vick, this is a camouflage, and uh, Brandon Marshall. So, not super great there, but... It's whatever. It's my first box break. There'll be more. Uh, this stack here uh, is a local trade. I ended up trading uh, a partial set of 1981 Don Russ baseball for this stack. Uh, over half the set. I think it was like 456 cards. But this is what I got. Sammy Smith, this is an update rookie, tops update, 89. Uh, you might have heard me talk about this guy before. Uh, he lived in Orlando, Florida. He lived in Apopka for a while, too, Apopka, Florida. And I didn't live far from there, so I ran into him a few different times. Really cool guy. Uh, then we got Eric Rett cards. There's a couple different Eric Rett cards that are in here. Uh, I was a big fan of him when he came out. Uh, met him in person, got a signed football, I ended up selling or trading that away. But he was pretty good when he first came out, but ended up kind of being a bust a little bit later on. But still, I like the guy a lot. Uh, this is a 76, I believe. Yep. Tops car. Just, I just grabbed it because it was old. Larry Schreiber. Schreiber. Uh, Billy Sims card which I wish I had a couple days ago because I ended up meeting him in person, which is this stuff over here. 
So that's 1981 tops. This is a 1970 Chuck Walton. And I got that because of the last name, because that's what my last name is. Uh, then we got a Kellen Winslow card from 83, I believe. All pro. Here's that other Eric Red I was talking about. This is a clear metal insert. Gold blaster. We're starting to get into the better stuff here. Greg Maddox. He's got a ding on the corner down there. Uh, we got some Sage Hit cards. This is Jermaine Grisham for OU. Uh, then we got a Des Bryant OSU. And a Sam Bradford. Then I picked up three of these. Uh, she had three of these. These are 1976 Dodgers schedules. Uh, and they came with a iron-on. And if you can see, you can see it's kind of bled through over the years onto all the other pages of the schedule. Uh, two of these come with the iron-on, one does not. These are all going to be for sale, so if you're interested in these at all, or trade, uh, shoot me a PM. And we got a Vinny Testaverde rookie. It's 88 tops. We got a Don Maynard 1973 card. A little rough. And last but not least, a Michael Cobb signed card. Played a few years in the NFL for the Bengals and the Bears. He also did some time in the USFL. So pretty cool. Not a bad little stack of stuff here. Alright, as you can see, I picked up a copy of the new Beckett Sports Card Monthly. Picked that up. I hate that these magazines cost 10 bucks now. It's so stupid. I grew up with magazines cost only, you know, two, three, four dollars. Anyway, got a pack of Don Russ. Uh, 2015 at the Dollar Tree. Put the phone down to get these out. Didn't do very well. Did better on that baseball that I bought. We got a Solomon Hill, Dirk Nowitzki, Stephen Adams, Isaiah Thomas, and Jordan Hill. So pretty, pretty crappy pack there. Uh, the one piece of mail I got is from Pepsi Company. Now, I'm a member of a new group on Facebook called the Hero Card Collectors Group. And that's uh, pretty much, uh, it's the special card, the photo. It's got a photo of, of a driver on the front and stats on the back. It's for NASCAR, but uh, it's also for any other <coughs> vehicle-related sport. And uh, there's guys posting that they got uh, autographed cards of, uh, autographed hero cards of Chase Elliott. And one guy said that he uh, mentioned that he just called Pepsi and uh, asked for the signed card and they sent it to him. So I did that. And they said that they were going to send me a signed card. Well, as you can see, the envelope is very small. Hero cards are normally a little larger than 8x10, I believe. Uh, I guess eight and a half by eleven. So you can see this is just a business size envelope. So it's going to be interesting to see what I have in here. But they said that they were they had some signed Chase Elliott cards. So let's see what we got. It's not the one I wanted at all. You can see that's just a printed signature. But that's the card they sent me for him. And then we got uh, this. Thank you for contacting us. So that's a waste. But you never know. All right, let's do uh, the in-person signing with Mr. Billy Sims, 1978 Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, was running back for the 
Sooners, and then with the Detroit Lions. Uh, you can see I previously had it signed by Mr. Joe Washington. So it looks pretty sweet there. It's kind of a short notice signing that I had just found out about. I only had a day or two to prepare, so I didn't have a whole lot of stuff or a whole lot of money. Uh, but what I did do, I did do an original painting, a watercolor painting of Billy Sims. And I ended up giving the original to Billy at the signing. Uh, he was opening up one of his new barbecue restaurants uh, in a town not too far away, about 30 minutes. And uh, so I was able to knock out a watercolor painting and I gave it to him. And I ended up making three prints of it. This is the first time uh, I've delved into making prints of my art. So I ended up making three prints. I've traded one away. Well, partly cash, partly trade. Uh, if you recall earlier in the video, I got that Isaiah Crowell. And I said I got it in a part cash, part trade deal. Well, it was for one of the signed prints. And you see, I've also signed it myself and I've numbered it. This is three of three. And then one of three. I, I traded, sold the two of three one. I'm going to keep this one. So this one's going to be uh, for sale. So if you are interested, uh, just shoot me a PM. But I think it turned out pretty nice. Uh, went to Staples, had these done. They were buck something a piece. But I think they turned out very nice. Uh, Billy was a great guy, very friendly. He loved the painting. Uh, it was funny, I asked him, uh, so do you like it? He's like, shit, yeah, I like it. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. Uh, had a good time. He was very friendly. Signed for everybody, talked with everybody. So really happy to have these. All right, next up, thrift store stuff here. Uh, these books were all half price. You can see with a slash through it. Um, so they're all originally 30 cents a piece, so I only paid 15 cents a piece. It's a couple of sports ones here. We got high pockets. Really just absolutely mint condition on these books. And they're all very old. Uh, that's a fifth printing from 1966. Uh, back cover's a little beat up on this one, but not, not too shabby otherwise. This is probably 66 as well. That's a first printing from 1966. And that's a relief picture. I really like the cover on this one. And then we got a drag racing book. This is Dragging and Driving. Pretty cool. And that one is from Second Printing 1965. So some really nice old paperbacks. And then I got the newest Entertainment Weekly for 30 cents. April 22nd, 29th, 2016, double issue, movie issue, Civil War on the cover, that should be fun to read. And I also picked up an Oklahoma State shirt. Alright, so the last gift store I got. I was really hoping this was going to be signed when I saw it. It's Mr. T, the man with the gold and autobiography. Uh, again, in fantastic condition. Dust jackets in great condition as well. I remember reading this book as a kid um, back in the 80s when he, was, when he first came out. And he was really popular and A-Team was on. Uh, so I, I had to grab it up, but I was really hoping it was signed. But it was not... A really cool book. Uh, always been a huge fan of Mr. T. There he is in his football days. Really interesting book if you've never read it. 
Some more photos of Mr. T. DC Cab. Rocky Three. There's his bodyguard days. So very cool to find this for only a quarter. That's just unbelievable. Really cool. Uh, we got some more baseball books. This is the 1988 Complete Handbook of Baseball. It's really cool. Lots of photographs in here. Lots of, uh, here's a nice uh, Nolan Ryan piece. And there's a nice piece on Kirby Puckett. Uh, there's a Mark McGuire article. Really cool book. Uh, that was a quarter, and this one was also a quarter. This is the World Series Encyclopedia from 1903 to 1960. And it's, uh, this is copyright 1961. Pretty neat. I thought this was really cool for two bucks. This is uh, a set of cards from Target. This is Congratulations, Dodgers. Uh, thanks for 100 years of great memories. P.S. May the next 100 years be just as great. It's still a, a sealed and unopened package here. But apparently it's all Dodgers. It looks like it's a 800 card set. I don't know if the whole set's in here. I assume it is, but... Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five... 10, 15 cards per sheet. I don't know how many sheets are in here. But I have not researched this yet to see the value or anything. But I figure for two bucks you couldn't go wrong. That would be for sale or trade if anybody's interested. And then lastly, I picked this up. Uh, she had $5 on it. I said, would you take three for it? And I had seen this there before, and I just never bothered with it. But today I was like, hey, would you take three bucks for it? And she's like, sure. So I got this whole bag of cards for $3. So we'll see what we got in here. Let's see if we got my money's worth. got a Dan Dickel card. It's also from 76. Ray Mansfield. Uh, are these? Yeah. 1971 tops. Walter Johnson. We got a Lance Allworth. Beat the shit though, but still Lance Allworth. Zeke Moore. Jim Hart. Some more 76. It's Ron Johnson. JT Thomas. I care that's a 78, 79, 78, Pat McKinley. So we got some of these. These are all Fleer cards, I believe. Pretty cool. Oh, sweet. John Matusak, 76 card. Oh, shit. That's a Walter Payton. Why am I cussing so much? There's John Matusak. That's a Walter Payton rookie, I do believe. It's poorly cut. And it's got a crease through it, but that's still a Walter Payton rookie. Holy crap. That's a nice find right there. Alright, so George Coons. All pro card. And then we got some of these guys. Uh, looks like they were tops cards, and then you could punch them out. Probably part of a game or something. There's a Bob Lilly on there. Not sure of the year, but probably early 70s. There's another one there, another one there, 
Tommy Novus. Sid Blanks. Bernie Casey. Jim Otto. These are pretty cool. Another one with Jim Otto. Charlie Johnson. George Blanda. Jack Kemp. Alex Karras. Nice one. Cannot believe I got a Walter Payton rookie. Here's a checklist card. And we got these. Miami, what is this? Miami Dolphins mini card album. Raiders mini card album. Okay, so you open it up. Fred Blitnikoff, Daryl LaMonica. And it's a little booklet, it looks like. George Blanda. Okay, those are pretty neat. Sucks doing this with one hand. 23 of 26 stamp album. Well, these have got to be. There's Larry Zonka. Early 70s or so. So we got Oilers as well. St. Louis Cardinals. And Packers. I figure you got to have Bart Starr. Yep. Well, this was a hell of a deal for three bucks. Here's another Packers one. Rams, Rams, Colts, Eagles, Giants, Falcons, Steelers, Terry Bradshaw in here. Probably before Terry Bradshaw's time, huh? Browns, Cowboys, Lions, Saints, Redskins, Broncos, I wonder if I have the whole set, another Giants, Vikings, 49ers, Steelers, Lions, another Packers, there's Ahmad Rashad, 78, I think I have that one, Super Bowl card, Here's a basketball card from 74, Garfield Hurd. Uh, yeah, cool, Merlin Olsen. Gino Capaletti. And then there's a few of them that are already punched out here. Floyd Little. I'm guessing it's for some kind of game. I don't know. Daryl and Monica. Maybe they were inserted in packs. I don't know nothing about those. I'll have to research those. But we got a Walter Payton rookie. So I might have to go back and look through this guy's cards again. He had a couple other baggies of cards. So that's pretty cool. That's it, guys. That's everything. Sorry it ran so late. Appreciate everybody watching. I'll talk to you guys later. See you.